Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at Seiko's Drain Dose dosing system. Now this model comes in two variations. It's either battery powered with 8D cell batteries or it's mains powered with a switch mode uh, voltage supplier between 100 and 240 volts. Now before we go into the programming, I'm just going to go through some of the installation and maintenance of the system. Now the unit is mounted on one of Seiko's uh, four position brackets for maximum stability and the suction and discharge hoses are fitted under this useful little snap-up cover via these compression nuts with the suction tube going through the nut about halfway onto the barb and then secured with the nut. For tube removal we simply disconnect the nut and the tube remove from the housing, replace with the new tube, and reconnect the nuts. To turn on the unit, we have an on-off switch on the base of the unit. And when the unit first initializes, you will see a flashing B in the top right-hand corner, which denotes that this is the battery version. As I say, the battery version has eight D-cell batteries that are fitting in this cradle. To insert the batteries, simply remove the fixing nut, take away the cradle securer, enter the batteries, replace and retighten the bolt. You can re-secure the lid with the little quarter turn screws. So as I mentioned, this unit comes in either a battery powered format or a mains powered format. There are a couple of differences. In the mains powered uh, unit or variation, you can operate the unit in two different ways. In the timed dose or a cyclic dose where you select an on time, an interval and a duration. On the battery one, we just have the weekly programmer. So let's have a look at the uh, useful functions on this device. First of all, by pressing the program and the exit cable, we can go into a calibration phase. Now calibration is always very important to ensure accurate dosing, and it's a very simple process. We connect a, a little sample hose into a graduated jug. We go into the calibration, change that to yes, and press enter. You'll now see the clock counting down. In that time, it'll be drawing liquid from your graduated jug, and when it reaches the end of the time, we're gonna insert the actual measurement rather than the estimated value of the unit. Now, as I mentioned, the clock will count down for 60 seconds. You can see it's just coming to the end of its cycle now, and at the end of that period, there'll be an estimated value of how much we've dosed. You would check this on your graduated container to see how much you've actually dosed, and make an arrangement. Once you're happy with the figure, press enter, and it will revert back to the actual programming mode. To prime the unit, simply press and hold the up and down arrows at the same time, and the unit will start to prime. When the line's fully loaded, just simply press the two buttons again to stop the priming process. Now, if we look at the actual programming of the, menu, of the uh, unit, if we press and hold the set, for a few seconds, we'll go into the settings menu with the options of the language, the advanced menu, and the menu settings. If we go into the advanced menu by pressing the enter button, we can go into battery saving. This will shut down the display after a few seconds to save on battery life, if enabled. You can see at the moment it's yes. Scrolling down, we can inhibit a password for the system to protect that against anybody trying to adjust the settings without permission. The clock setup. This is your initial time that the unit will base its programming on. So we can see at the moment we're at Monday and we're at three minutes past 12. You can obviously adjust this by pressing the enter to change the days. And after pressing the enter button, you'll move along where you can change the time. And then if we escape, we're back to the standard menu where we can go into menu settings. Press enter. Here we can select uh, whether we're dosing in millilitres or ounces. 
we can go into timed mode or in sight click. When escaping, it'll ask you if you wish to save parameters, just simply press enter. And once again, it will revert back to the standard dosing program showing you the next dosage. So once you've completed the setup menu, we can actually program the unit. Press and hold the program button. And we can see now that we're editing program number one. We have 48 program options. If you're happy with program number one, simply press the enter button and it will select the on time for your dosage, which you can adjust with the up or down arrows. We now have how often you would like to repeat this dose. At the moment, we've just selected on a Monday, but by going through the menu, we can select seven days a week. We can select Monday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday, or Monday to Friday, or as I said, individual days of the week. Once you're happy with that, press enter again, and we can select the quantity that we'd like to dose. Again, you can adjust this with the up or down arrows. The next question is the duration of the dose. Now, this is so you can spread the dosing over a set period. The only specification on this is you have to have enough time set in that to actually allow the dosage of the chemical that you've selected. Press enter, go back to the menu, press escape, and if we're happy, press enter to save our parameters. And your programming changes are saved. So if you want to use the unit in cyclic mode as opposed to setting individual programs, go into the menu settings through the set button, press enter. We can now enter the dosing quantity, which we can adjust by pressing enter and adjusting the value. The dosing interval, this is how long between doses, which again, you can select between days, hours and minutes by pressing the enter button. The maximum of 100 days, hours and minutes. And then this is the initial delay from when you set the unit to when you want the first dose to start. So if you're looking to start at midnight and you're there at six o'clock, you simply set a six hour delay. Again, when you're happy with your settings, escape and save the parameters. You'll see this is the initial dosing carrying on now. One of the useful uh, functions of the battery unit is by pressing the escape and the up arrow at the same time, we can actually check on the battery duty life. You can see there it's set up 100%. Really useful function for servicing.